So, um, so uh, anyway, um, yeah, I got a, I got a little beef here. Uh, I got a beef uh, with a few things. Um, for one, I just checked my email, and it looks like that Coinbase, that uh, <laughs> uh, Bitcoin thing. Um, turns out they had a little thing where they. Um, said my order was canceled even though I got money in my account in my Bitcoin account but it said they canceled it it was some sort of bug um, it wasn't gonna come out of my bank so I was like what the hell so I was screwing around and I tried to put a 10 in and then I uh, said that was canceled and then um, I put a uh, a 30 in and that one actually went through instantly so so, so, it turns out that, um, it turns out that, um, yeah, it turns out that, um, I don't know if I'm going to get the 10 in my account. Um, they didn't say anything about that, um, and that never went through. I wonder if that's going to come out of my bank account and go into my Coinbase, because my Coinbase is completely empty right now. Um, I had everything paid for in my bank account clear, so if they try to take out that 10, that's screwed, but they just said they're taking out the, uh, uh, the, uh, $38, um, in Bitcoin, uh, well, in, um, out of my bank account, so I have a dollar and 10 cents in my account, so it looks like they're gonna try to take that out or take that out anytime within the next 24 hours and it's gonna bounce and I have a credit union account so it's not too bad but I don't have enough in my savings to cover it so ordinarily it would just be like a 50 cent fee and they would take it out of my savings which is my overdraft account but now they're gonna I don't know like get really pissed I don't I've never had that happen I've never had a problem with my cr uh, credit union account um, other than a few dollars over and then it got moved from my um, savings to cover it and I got a 50 cent little fee you know which is really cheap because regular banks just for overdraft will charge you like 30 40 50 60 bucks even so a 50 cent fee plus the amount was really pretty happy with them and they let you do it like five times I never did it more than like you know I think two times in a month. Um, so it that 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 sucks. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen to my bank account, and I have no idea when I'm gonna be able to get any more money because I might go work with my dad. Maybe I get to go work. Um, I don't know. Maybe once a month at the most. Um, so, yeah, that sucks, and even if I did, you know, the amount of money I would have to put from getting paid a hundred bucks would be, you know, like half my check with the fees and stuff, so then I'd only have fifty bucks left. Um, also, I was outside jamming out, um, Freddie Mercury, that song Love Kills, damn cop, I don't something happened with my neighbor's bike or whatever so this stupid cop like this was like last week has been coming over to their house or like pulling up there and parking like it's pissing me off because like happened last time and and you know he was just standing there blinding me with his freaking you know headlights you know and I went inside I came out and it was all cool and then he comes back again like sitting there for a while and pissed me off so I came back inside and I haven't seen him for a while but I know I haven't been out much lately because I smoked the e-cig um, it's a lot cheaper and a lot better for you um, it's been like four days without a real cig you know so no smoke. Uh, I went over to a friend's house and there was a you know smell on it and it was like man those things are nasty and I was kind of joking around busting his balls and he and his dad's like um, 
there's don't start there's nothing worse than an ex-smoker who's you know complaining about the smell you know i was like oh it's all good i was like just you know give me a cigarette and then it won't sting anymore i was joking i didn't smoke a cigarette i stick with this it's actually good i was a big complainer about them but they're actually pretty cool Yeah, I'm jamming out, and then this cop comes and parks there, and I see, and I stop jamming out, and I'm all tight, and like, ah, I'm like, goddamn fucking pigs, what the fuck you doing, you know, get the fuck off my goddamn land, you know, get out of my fucking country, you fucking piggies, you know, fuck off, because it's not like they're going to find this dude's bike, and dude should have had his garage closed anyway, it's 2013, what the hell's your problem, man? You know, you really should lock your shit up nowadays. Just, you know, hey, if you got shit and you don't want it stolen, I didn't take it, by the way, but I don't know who did. I didn't get back until it got stolen and I got back, and that's when it got stolen. I was, you know, I don't know anything about it, you know, um, but I'm not going to have much empathy for someone who's rich and just stupid enough to leave their shit out for anyone to take you know, um, and then the cops aren't going to do anything to find it, you know, they never do, um, I mean, what kind, of, it's not even like a car, we have all this information about it, I don't know what information they gave them about it, if, there was, if they had the serial number of it, you know, that's good, if they find someone with a bike and happen to stop them and match the serial number, then I guess he'll get his bike back and that person will get busted, um, whatever good that is, busting someone. You know, and, you know, if it's an expensive bike, you charge them with, and, and oh, you went into someone's garage, so I don't know, it'd probably be like a felony, you know, ruin someone's life, you know, over one dumb mistake, you know. Um, but yeah, the cops aren't going to do anything. I mean, hell, I've been assaulted at the library some years ago, and I got mild PTSD issues um, from that, amongst, you know, a, a lot of other things that have happened in my life, and uh, cops didn't do anything, I had no sympathy whatsoever, were late by the time I even talked to them, didn't do shit, you know, talked down to me, you know, uh, had nothing but bad experiences, I don't go to the cops anymore if something happens at all, you know, I just don't go to the cops because I don't see a situation where it is beneficial, um, I mean, hopefully I'm not in a bad situation where, you know, I'm in immediate danger. But if I was, it's not like the cops would be there in time. Um, you know, I don't have a gun. Um, yeah, I don't walk around with a knife. Um, I'm completely unarmed. Uh, I usually don't worry about it, but you never know. Something bad could happen, and I'm unprotected. So that kind of is fucked up. Um, and if I ever get, like, a felony, you know, like, you know, say, like, you know, I get caught with, like, X amount of whatever drug, and they charge me with a felony, it's like, oh, you, like, lose your right to vote, and your right to bear arms, and all that crap, I mean, we're not talking about, like, child rapists here, I mean, it's not that hard to get a felony, and if you're a child rapist, what the hell are you even doing out of prison, it's not like they can cure that, you know, and it's not like, you know, you're just, like, lusting in your head about it, you know, if you actually, you know, act it and ruin the child's life, okay, like, okay, you, you're no longer just a pedophile, or, you know, the different categories within pedophilia, um, you are now a child rapist, you know, I don't know why we let them out of prison, I'm not sure, I mean, I, I know there's a lot of different degrees of it, and they're not all, you know, monsters, but if you actually are a child rapist, I, I don't know why they're let out of prison, I'm not sure, um, but, you know, for most normal, you know, criminals, you know, or if that's what we want to call them, criminals, you know, people that have a criminal record for, you know, doing something that the state didn't like, I mean, I'm not, don't get me wrong, like, some of these things are bad, and people should be locked up to protect the public, you know, for at least X amount of time, even if you're just drunk and belligerent and out of control and getting violent, you should at least 
get locked up, you know, for the night to sober up, you know, and, you know, you should be linked up with some therapy, some someone that can help you with your problem, you know, I mean, it should be really about rehabilitation and reform and uh, showing people the beauty and potential within and within us all and actually going out and being productive and helping one another and all about love and loving yourself and loving others, you know, and it all starts from within. Um, I'm kind of rambling a little here. The main point was I was pissed off about the Coinbase thing, then I was pissed off about the cop because, you know, and they're not really going to help this guy, but they're just, you know, coming up, you know, and I know sometimes they, like I said, I haven't been out much, but I know I used to see them drive by my house and they slow down, like, real slow, and they're all, like, staring at you, you know, and it's like, what? You know, like, they're never there when, like, some douchebag is, like, going down the neighborhood, like, you know, 80 miles an hour, you know, with his loud, like, car, boo, you know, but the noise isn't really the big deal. The fact that he's going, like, 80 miles an hour down a neighborhood street where the speed limit is, I don't know, no more than 30 miles per hour, you know, probably closer to 15 is a neighborhood street. I mean, I don't know. It, actually, I think... Actually, I think you can go 30 on it. You know, that's not too fast. Um, but yeah, 80 is out of control. You'd say it's not like high traffic, but I mean, you know, this is a neighborhood, you know, people get in the road, whether it's small children or just anyone could be in the road. You know, that person should actually get a speeding ticket. You know, I'm not completely against law and order, you know, uh, but it's not so much law and order as much as, you know, protect and serve the public, you know, is what I'm for. But, you know, people like Officer Justin Ham Hamish, was that his name? Um, I don't know, it might not be the right name, but it was Justin something. This was in Alabama, and he got in trouble for not meeting quota, and he got fired. Um you know, the, the one good cop out there, you know, crazy, but, um, damn, this is, um, kind of a nuisance, a little bit, a little bit, but, um, so, um, yeah, they don't really do much to help people, they just pretty much are dicks. And they piss me off because they ruin my party when I'm trying to enjoy music and dance around and, you know, express myself freely. Um, I'm a real uh, buzzkill. But the third thing that really pisses me off, besides all the state issues, you know, my dad's closed mindedness, um, you know, marijuana being illegal, you know thinking all that pro-marijuana stuff is propaganda and, you know, not caring about five-year-old girls that, you know, have constant seizures and can be helped by marijuana, you know, ooh, far out, you know, and the fact that some marijuana doesn't even get you high, it's just medical, and it's like exclusively hybrided out, you know, with very low THC and high in CBDs. I mean, I'm not a genius here, but, you know, I do like to keep informed to some degree about certain things, you know, that are beneficial to the human race and individuals. Um, you know, there's uh, someone on my Facebook that's got cancer, you know, and they're on um, Medicaid and Social Security and they're, you know, left out in the cold. You know, there's me who could be greatly helped by marijuana, both with my physical daily constant headaches, neck tension, back pain, you know, uh, you know, besides the physical aspect, you know, there's the, um, there's the, besides the, uh, physical, there, there's the fact that, you know, I have all this mental trauma, uh, emotional trauma that is, is really tough to deal with. Um, marijuana would be something that I could do on a daily basis and get the proper strain or slash strains, you know, 
in the proper dosing or whatever and I could do this on a daily basis and it would be no problem whatsoever um, in an ideal free society um, there's other drugs out there with potential and even the you know quote bad drugs you know in moderation and the right purity level you know there's not much out there that's too horrible I mean it's a personal choice you know sovereignty over one's own body um, but marijuana is like the perfect drug that you know you can do every day and if you're a dumbass and you ruin your life because of marijuana then well that's your fucking problem you know I mean there should still be help out there for people but I mean if you're gonna say I ruined my life and not let anyone else smoke that's kind of dick you know it's like oh I ruined my life with alcohol we should ban alcohol cause no one can drink responsibly if I can't you know oh, oh no no you know what the hell you know you know oh if I can't get laid we should ban sex because you know if I, no one can get laid you know, um, wow, it's crazy, you know, um, besides that, yeah, the third thing that's really pissing me off, what, what is that third thing, um, um, uh, man, what is it, uh, really pissed me off, but I can't remember, um, but to do, 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 um, oh, um, Marijuana laws, cops, uh, Coinbase being broke and rarely having money, and then you know being more broke, dating sites, scams, um, the never-ending flow of douchebags in the world. Um, pretty fucking annoying shit. Um, yeah, the. Uh, third thing what is that third thing that elusive third you know now now I'm wasting time here you know now people are leaving the video goodbye goodbye you know if anyone was even watching to begin with um, because I can't remember and you know I don't have a pause option or if I do I'm not familiar with computers people think I'm like a computer nerd but uh, I don't know enough about this little thing to pause it. You know, if I hit stop, it just stops the video, and I don't know how to take YouTube and, like, upload one video and then another one within the same part. I guess there's part one and part two, but, um, I don't know, man. What the fuck is that third thing? I think the third thing was the thing that was pissing me off the most, too, which is the funny thing. Um, dancing, dancing. I don't know, was there a third thing, you know, uh, no, nah, there had to be a third thing, I know there was, um, hmm, wow, just pretty, uh, pretty miserable, um, all the time, and, uh, I don't know why it has to be that way, you know, uh, it would be nice to meditate or get some ayahuasca, ayahuasca therapy or something. You know, hang out with Rick Doblin and, you know, go to one of his MDMA therapy sessions. You know, I mean, by yourself trying it, you know, isn't really quite the same as having a professional, upstanding, empathetic guy. Like, that was empathetic, by the way, not pathetic. Um, empathetic guy like Rick Doblin, one of my all-time heroes as of late. I just, I mean, I knew about him for a few years, but I just recently have been watching actual videos and hearing what he has to say. And he's an amazing, beautiful human being. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't really know what was pissing me off. I didn't know what I was going to do, um, I was just out there and then I decided I was going to make a video and then I saw that cop so I came in prematurely before I made the video, I think initially the video was just going to be saying something, oh, oh, this is kind of government related. Yeah, I'm going to keep busting the balls about the government, asking the government to give me money. You know, I think I should have Social Security disability. Um, 
and I think I should be in government housing and I should still get um, I should I should I should they should give me um, two hundred dollars a month in food stamps um, on my, on my EBT card you know uh, so a grand total of eight hundred dollars I mean they make you pay like your rent at the government housing anyway so like 600 for disability and 200 for groceries and then you know I'm gonna have to pay like maybe the rent should be like maybe only a hundred bucks so you know, uh, you know that's eight hundred dollars they're giving me you know and then uh, 200 for groceries should be able to budget that for the month it would be a little tight, you know, especially since I want to eat healthy, but I could manage. And if I had to dig into some of the money, the actual cash for food, that would be fine. Since, you know, rent would only be a hundred, you know, so six, you know, a hundred as five, maybe another hundred for groceries as four. You know, this isn't that expensive, the e-cig. Um, so I could budget and maybe even be lucky enough to somehow possibly, if I budget real good, although there's a lot of health stuff I want to get into. Um, and, you know, marijuana. Uh, ooh, spending the government's money. They should, that's why they should drug test people on welfare. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, maybe manage to be lucky enough to save up $200 and be comfortable, you know, because I don't need that much. Hell, I could live in a tent, you know, that doesn't really bother me, you know, if I wouldn't have went to prison and stuff while I was living in a tent homeless, it wasn't so much that, it was the fact that I was broke, and when I had a little bit of money, uh, I got way too drunk, and I was prescribed Klonopin because it's the best that the doctors can do. So, you know, yeah, and that wasn't really that great. Plus, with the alcohol, to make it great, it did the opposite and got in trouble because the government likes to arrest people and then you go to court and they give you all this time and hassle. Luckily, I never got a felony, so that's good. So I'm still just a misdemeanor boy, but a record a mile long, you know. It's actually really not that bad. You can look it up if you're curious, you know, and if you want to judge and be a dick, then fuck you. That's fine, too. Um, I'm not really ashamed. I'm not really uh, remorseful other than the harm that I caused myself because I never really caused anyone harm. Not not based on my criminal record anyway. Um, I mean, I've done things that I regret, I feel bad about, I feel remorseful about. I'm not going to go into those things, but I, I do feel like I've definitely made a lot of mistakes, but the uh, criminal thing is um, mistakes that pretty much just hurt me, you know? Um, and, that, and that's my main concern, and anything that I deserved to be reprimanded for, you know, I could have been reprimanded for, you know, with, hey, man, we're really concerned about you. We want to help you. But, yeah, I'm going to continue. My point is I'll continue to ask for this money um, because I am kind of disabled, you know, like I said, physically and mentally, especially considering how hard it is to get a job, the fact that I have a criminal record, the fact that I'm all, like, uh, miserable, um, the fact that applications nowadays for... 750 an hour will ask you like 200 psychological questions that are crazy some of these questions will include stuff about your political affiliation like do you do you agree that people are too conservative strongly agree strongly disagree yada 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 um, hmm, do I agree that people are too conservative? Who? What do you mean by con what's the definition of conservative? Uh, who are these people? Like people in general, the general population is too conservative, yes or no? Um, I don't know. Some people are too conservative, some people aren't. And if conservative is being a douchebag, like, you know, which is pretty much what I, I think conservative is, because I do think people are too conservative. I think if one person is like a Christian conservative, that's one too many. Um, 
Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan. Uh, I'm not like close-minded, but you know, if you're gonna worship some all-powerful God who's like die, burn in hell, but I love you. Um, yeah, I kind of have a problem with that. A real big problem with that, but that's none of your business, you know, job application. Do I think there's too many uh, frivolous laws? Uh, most definitely, but if I say there's not, like, what, what, what are you judging me? If I say there's not too many stupid laws, you, are you going to judge me, or, or, you, or is that the right answer? Um, oh, there's no right or wrong answer, even though they'll go ahead and evaluate the thing from a computer before they decide to, you know, follow up with an interview. They sometimes outrule your thing, and I'm not talking about the, you know, if no one's looking, would you take money that fell out of someone's pocket, and you know who it belongs to, question, you know, that's common sense, even if you would take the money, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure, oh, they want me to say I would return the money, you know, answer the question the right way, and even if that means lying, then lie, you know, I'm talking about the questions that are just confusing as hell, you know, or just no one's goddamn business, um, you know, yes, I think there's frivolous laws, I think there's too many retarded fucking laws, and, uh, does that mean I'm a rebellious anarchist that, you know, can't wash dishes in your restaurant, mm, what's that, I show up on time all the time to work, you know, back when I had a job like four years ago, you know, I, I'm a good hard worker. I got good work ethic, you know. I've been out of the scene for so long, it's a little tough. But, I mean, if someone gave me a job, I'd totally be able to do it. And I'd be grateful even if the guy was paying me less than his right, you know. I'd do it for a little while until I could find something better, you know. I'm still, you know good um but yeah the reason why i would ask for money is because as long as they're willing to um just for one like i said it's really hard you know you know the application the criminal record all that blah blah, blah yada 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 you know being all uh, um but the problem is um when they s we're in all this debt, this big, you know, trillions of dollars deficit, you know, uh, and there's still people starving. There's people without health care, yet they have money to lock people up for marijuana and deny it as a medicine. Um, you know, that could save people a lot of health care dollars since most of the shit that people are taking, you know, they could just get prescribed marijuana and go buy their marijuana every month and be all right for most of the problems they have and instead of going to all these doctors all the time and taking all these poison pills that they always come out with these lawsuits on TV like oh do you know this you know makes you piss blood you know you know makes your kidneys fail and all kinds of crap oh yeah you know FDA approved you know real good I'll take a vitamin any day this is not intended to treat cure disease you know do your research like a lot of stuff um, will help you you know far more than you you know, big pharma's poison. Um, yeah, but they have money to spend on that shit while people are miserable. They have money to spend on a bombs, nukes. They 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 test them out. You know, by blowing them up. What's the use of that? You know, I don't understand. Um, they uh, you know they. They, they did use a nuke on, you know, uh, the Japanese. They locked the Japanese up in prison. Well, you know, there's always mistakes in the past. The genocide of the Native Americans, slavery, all kinds of things. But you learn from mistakes. You know, you look at the good qualities, you know, and you, you, you take good with the good, and you you... You don't just leave the bad. I mean, you leave the bad, but you, you, you recognize the bad, and you learn from it, and you don't make the same mistakes twice um, but I guess we just like to more the same more the same no matter if there's a D or an R in front of your name you know let's keep you know the genocide up let's keep putting people in cages you know let's keep 
picking and chooses who gets a little bit of assistance, you know, and then incentivize, you know, people to stay on incentive, and to stay on assistance and be welfare whores and, you know, uh, keep bringing kids into this world and, you know, have miserable little kids that go on welfare or just wind up as drunks homeless in the street, you know, uh, I don't know how they're able to do that because I, I do believe there is a problem with welfare and I believe the problem is that it doesn't actually really help people or give people incentive to get people off and independent and even if there is incentive to get independent there's just not much opportunity you know but um pretty much at all especially if you weren't raised from a child to be a little Harvard grad you know I mean and even now you go to Harvard, you know, and you're flipping a burger at McDonald's. Oh, cool, Harvard grad stole my job, you know. Uh, but it's just flipping a burger at McDonald's, you know. Um, yeah, you know, evil corporation that is, you know. It's terrible, terrible food, horrible atrocities, you know, but whatever. Um, yeah, what they have they they spend money on uh, going to war, you know, bombing little innocent Pakistani babies, women, ch you know, children, innocent farmers, you know. Um, yeah, let's kill massive people, you know. Spend all this money on prisons and weapons and make all these laws, you know, like have cops stop you and frisk you, you know, and that's fine. Give dogs little signals. I mean, this is just drugs, you know, and that's such a massive problem, you know, even though you could totally lower the amount of drug abuse, you know, by being humane. Um, you know, it's really that person's loss. I mean, there's other issues with drug abusers that do things that affect other people but you know if it's really that horrible there would be a law against what they're doing and chances are they're probably kind of fucked up anyway regardless of whether they do drugs or not and maybe if it is truly the drugs that made them fucked up if there was actually assistance out there people would choose to get off drugs you know or if it was bad enough where they actually did a real crime, you know, there would be rehabilitation um, for people. Um, but yeah, I'll keep asking for money because you got this money, you know, to do all this crap. You know, you can spend $800 a month on me. Hey, stop paying all these uh, people that work in social services to, you know, uh, pick and choose who gets a little bit of assistance and belittle you and expect you to go through all this red tape just to give some lazy bum some money. But someone who's actually got potential in a brain doesn't get money. No, I'm not going the race for, you know, what's because I'm white. You know, ooh, it's because I come from a background of people that are middle class. So, okay, that might have something to do with it. Maybe in the sense that I wasn't raised to fill out this and this and this and cry in the office and be like, I'm weak and can't take care of myself and I'm pathetic and you should help me and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, act like overly defective, you know. No, I wasn't taught how to freeload, live off the system. I'm sorry. I wasn't taught that way. I wasn't raised that way. I never thought I'd be in a position where I would need government assistance. Um, I was never really against it. I mean, there was a period where I was Fox News, you know, hardcore on the yeah, Bill O'Reilly, yeah, no spin zone, reading the books and stuff, but then I was kind of pissed off with his, um, hardcore on the George Jung, you know, the guy from Below, you know, and Hollywood glorifying a, a mass murderer because he sold cocaine, blah, 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 their morality, their debauchery, blah. You know, but I still liked them, actually. I forgave them. I gave them a pass on that one little issue because I was all gung-ho about Bill O'Reilly. 
little phase here, you know, I was raised Christian conservative, I can't help it, you know, I've gone through a lot of phases, I was a bleeding heart liberal for a while, you know, then I was like, wait, you know, I'm not 100% liberal on all these things, what is the definition of bleeding heart liberal, like, I mean, oh, maybe I am liberal, I don't know, but I'm liberal in the classical sense, I believe in freedom, but, uh, and then I also believe in assistance, you know, for the poor, you know, and I don't believe that private charity is enough. I don't believe individuals out there really care enough. There's always, oh, well, he might spend it on beer. Oh, what are you going to do with your money? I'm going to the bar to get drunk. Oh, so you can drink, but this homeless guy whose life sucks can't go get a six-pack and go to his tent and drink little beers and go to sleep. You know, it's just one little, you know, reason for living, you know, my life sucks, there's no opportunity, I'm going to drink a six-pack and pass out, and wake up, go get some coffee at McDonald's to start the whole day over, you know, read a book or whatever, you know, from the library, you know, oh, socialism, public libraries, ooh, government can't spend money on libraries so people can read? Let's spend money on bombs and police, you know? Good people with their little shiny badges, you know? Guns, bam, bam, bam. Little black kid with a toy gun, bam, bam. He was black, he doesn't matter, you know? Who needs black people? I mean, just, just pretty much anyone that's trash, you know? Um, yeah, uh, great, great country we live in, you know? Not that, you know... There is any great country. Hey, well, there's Scandinavia, the greatest country ever, you know. Hey, socialized healthcare. It's it's so perfect there in Scandinavia, you know. Uh, Scandinavia, I don't care. I mean, I haven't done all the research on these places, but I know enough that every single place in the world has a horrible history. Every single place in the world has committed atrocities at some point. And every place in the world is not perfect. In fact, every place in the world is far from perfect. There may be some place out there that's the best, you know, overall on all issues. My main thing is uh, freedom is incredibly important, but not so much to the extent where, you know, I can't pay taxes. Taxation is theft. I refuse, you know, and I refuse, you know, and if, if some people have to starve, that's fine. As long as I got my steak, I'm happy, you know. I don't think freedom should, I think freedom should be the top priority, but Depends on your definition of, I mean, what is, uh, when do you think your liberties are being taken away? Like, to what degree are you just being like a stubborn dick, you know, who's got all this money but doesn't want to pay an extra 5% in taxes? No, they're already taxing me too much. I'm paying 40% of my taxes. I can't pay 45%. You know, I make $10 million a year, but I can't pay 45%. No, no, that's too much. You know, I don't know what the numbers are, but I mean, you know, come on. You know, I know the thing is the government really does spend too much money, and I really wouldn't want my money going to bombs either, so I kind of understand they're not paying taxes to an extent, but you have the privilege of, you know, state protection in theory, you know, citizenship, all the things that, you know, in theory, you know, your government is offering you, giving you help, providing this wonderful environment full of the opportunities that should be available. Um, so yeah, you know, do your part and pay back to society, you know, the gift of being a part of this wonderful society. Nothing wrong with taxes. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think it should be a little lower for some of the people that don't make as much um, and a little higher for some of the ultra-rich 1%, you know. Um, I don't, I'm not going to say they should raise taxes on, oh, you're making $500,000 a year, we should raise taxes on you. I'm not necessarily calling for that. I mean, if you're making $500,000 a year, I don't know what the tax rate is for someone making $500,000 a year, but... I'm pretty sure it's sufficient. I mean, I'm actually a supporter of low taxes. Um, 
I actually, I mean, there, there's all kinds of options. Like, I mean, I was going to say raise the corporate tax rate back up to what it was in the 60s and 50s and junk. But, um, I mean, I'm not even opposed to rich people getting richer and richer and richer as long as it's not hurting the poor and the poor taken care of. I mean, if there's a way to get rid of this, you know, to bring the corporate tax to zero, you know, I, I assume that in theory might help hire some people, you know, maybe, but I definitely support a minimum wage, um, and I think it should be raised, but I guess what I was saying is, um, if we had a land value tax, I don't know much about it, so I'm not going to get into it and make it look bad, but in a nutshell, there's all this land, and, you know, there's the whole real estate thing, and the land speculation, and, like, hoarding land, you know, having, you know, governments, like, build a road or expand a road, you got some land that's not really worth a lot, but then, you know, some stuff gets built, and roads, and all kind, of, and the taxpayers pay for that, and then your land goes up, and then you, you know, sell it at a really high price, and of course, eventually, you know, there was the bubble, and, you know, houses, you know, just went down, and, you know, there was that period of all these people getting loans and stuff, and then not being able to pay it, and then they got their house taken, because, you know, we were allowing banks, you know, the mainstream banks, to get away with murder, you know, and be common two-bit street mafiosi thug loan shark douchebags, um... You know, so, yeah, but there, there's all this land, you know, and you can get rid of all taxes and just have one single tax. And you tax the land, you know, and, um, you know, depending on the value of the land, like, so if it's a little tiny plot of land, you know, I got like a tent, like, you know, I'm not really gonna, I don't know what value that is, what my tax is gonna be on that land, but I'm not paying much taxes because I'm freaking poor. I have a little square block of land, you know, or just some piece of land, you know, but uh, the higher valued land, um, however they determine the value, like the land is the commons, you know, like the land belongs to God, you know, Mother Nature, you know, like man cannot own land, I mean, yes, you know, you, you, you live in a country, you know, there's government, order, organization, yeah, so you can rent the land, you, you can borrow the land, you know, you can, you know, this this is my land that I use. I mean, you could even have other land that you rent and you, you know, uh, charge a fee for people to stay there, you know. I mean, that that's fine. There's ways to make money. That's cool with me. I'm, I'm not against capitalism. I think the free market should be... And this is, speaking of free market, this is the whole thing about this, is um, you have one single tax, so there's no other taxes, so that's great for the libertarians. Um, it's great for the Republicans, you know, who say they're for low taxes, you know, and small government. <clears throat> ah, Republicans for small government? <laughs> that's funny. Um, they're no better than the Democrats on that issue. Um, different areas of spending. Um... You know, but it, it, it you know, um, I was going to say it should be good for Democrats if you're a good Democrat and really give a shit about what's right for this country. You know, it should be good for everyone, you know. There's this land, you know, you tax the land, people borrow the land, you know, it's all the commons, you know. But, I mean, you still kind of own that land, you know, this is, this is pretty much your land as long as you pay the rent due, you know, just like property taxes but the problem with property taxes is there's an incentive there's there's an incentive to let your shit fall apart because when you add on to your house and give it more value you have to pay more money like in this situation the land itself has a value it's not so much like you know the house and the pro all the add-ons and stuff the land has a set value and you're going to pay this amount of land and you want to get the maximized use out of this land so you're gonna you're gonna use it and respect it in the best manner you can if if you 
pay X amount of tax on this land and you build like a factory, you know, you're going to want to be really efficient, you know. Um, so, I mean, there's incentive to, you know, that if you, if you, ha you're paying all this money for land, you have some rundown building, you know, not doing anything, just sitting there, paying all this tax, you know, it's, it's not really, you're going to want to do something, but you're going to want to fix it up, you're going to want to put some business on it and try to, you know, make money off that land, you're going to, you don't just want to have all this, you don't want all this land just, that oh uh, I own it it's not really doing any good you you want to actually you know do something that benefits you and 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 the pro and and in order to benefit you usually you know it's also benefiting you know your community in general you know like you know if you have a business or you know you hire people or you know you have a cheap housing you know that people can afford you know it benefits the community but it also benefits you as an investment um, and it minimizes you know hoarding and there'd be there's plenty of land like you know people talk about the overpopulation but there's actually so many rural areas you know there's so much land you know I mean yeah I think people should stop having babies all the time you know and be in low lives but um at the same time I mean that there really is we don't need to start exterminating people or anything like that I mean it's crazy mainly just racist that hate black people and Mexicans and stuff talk about that like there's really no reason to exterminate people even the low lives I mean as long as they're not harming other people like yeah I mean and, and even if they were like I just morally uh, I have my areas where I get upset and want to kill people, but morally, like, it's wrong, like, and I really should be against extermination of all people, no matter what, unless it's self-defense, um, but, um, yeah, there's that land value tax, and the thing is, supposedly, apparently, you know, the revenue of all this land, you know, that amount of revenue would be enough to cover all our all, all our expenses you know it would it would go a long ways to paying off the deficit you know there may even be money left over to give everyone a basic income which is the thing that I really love about this you know okay there aren't no jobs you know machines are replacing people but now everyone gets a basic income, you know, and let's say that's a thousand, let's say that's fifteen hundred, let's say that's two thousand. I don't know what a basic income is. It doesn't necessarily have to be a living income, I don't know. I mean, you have different people, different opinions. But you know, hell, if I was getting five hundred dollars and I had access to like a little piece of land and I was getting five hundred dollars a month, that would be cool. Oh, there's no incentive to work. There's plenty of incentive to work because even if you're getting three thousand dollars a month, you know, there's still incentive to make more. You get a job, you make more money. You get a better job, you make even more money. You know, but uh, when you're not like stressing and starving, you know, when you're making your basic income, guess what? A lot of people have a lot of different talents, you know, you can in invest, you know, invent something or be an artist or do all kinds of things or just simply volunteer your time because now you're a happier, relaxed, stress-free, better person. You got your little income, you can survive and you go volunteer at the animal clinic, you know, I mean yeah you should go ahead and volunteer even if you're miserable and it'll make you feel better but kinda hard to tell someone who's miserable hey you should volunteer it'll make you feel better like it's the right thing to do and it'll make you feel better but you're too miserable you just like fucking deteriorating you know you're not gonna get up and oh you should do yoga really you know your pain you know well, I'm, uh, you know you, too far gone you know people this is a money-based economy you know and it's probably gonna be forever people need a basic income uh, Martin Luther King um, jr. was in favor of that like back in the 60s uh, not long before he died like one of his last speeches was about that great speech um, um, 
so many people uh, uh, back in the back in the 1600s, 1700s, 1800s. Uh, Henry uh, was it Henry George? Was that his name? And that's how they got that thing called Georgism. Um, I mean, y'all can look this shit up. I'm not gonna go into it because I don't want to slander it somehow by being misinformed because I'm just learning about this over the past month. Um, actually, probably about two months now since I first heard about the land value single tax. Um, has Green Party support? Has Libertarian support? I mean, depending on the type of Libertarian you are. Um, you know, whether you're some self-centered dick who, you know, or just some idealistic person who lives in some utopia where, you know, you just have no government whatsoever, anarchism, capitalism, all we need, society, you know, form little factions, and most people are good, you know, and maybe most people are genuinely good or have potential to be good, but eh, you can't just, you can't, I mean... Not now. I mean, I'm hopeful that, you know, maybe one day we could have an end cap society and, a, you know, and capitalism is the answer and anarchy, no government and just, just free markets, you know, great, you know, and the right to protect yourself. Cool, you know, that's, that's pretty badass with me, you know, I'm not going to complain. I don't, I don't. Viva la revolution, communism, yeah, you know, I, I have no loyalties that any uh, any any party or political religious belief whatsoever I'm completely open to what works okay what works is all that matters to me okay it's all that matters to me is what works so um, yeah land value tax pretty pretty badass um, the, uh, you know, however we, you know, solve this poverty and violence problem, you know, is, is, is great with me. And I feel like if the government has all this money to, you know, blow people up, you know, oh, I got my family, I'm having fun, I'm Mr. President, oh yeah. And then I can bomb these little fucking people, these little fucking brown people, and this fucking, you know, but I'm good, I'm good, you know, I'm good, but, you know, fuck you, you fucking Muslim. You know, boom, 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 awesome, shock and awe, blow them fuckers up, cool, you know, because, you know, it gives me power, and it's like, they are a threat, they are a threat, we need your money, we need your money, don't worry about, you know, the fact that you don't have a job and all this crap, you know, oh, just, just, we, we, we're, we're under attack, we need to attack these people, you know, oh, and, you know, maybe we'll start using it in law enforcement, and, you know, start raiding your house, and, oh, your house just got bombed, and your dog died, and your little two-year-old, mm, eh, collateral damage, no big deal, no big deal, not a problem, not a problem, they had marijuana, okay, they had marijuana, we cannot let people be happy, it's just not tolerable in a free society because you know freedom is overrated you know security is really important though um freedom is not so important oh what we're not even secure either you know because now we have the threat of the government and oh not just the government but you know just citizens in general you're you're always at risk you know i mean i'm not like preaching like fear you know but technically it's, it's it's a dangerous world. There's a lack of freedom. There's a lack of security. It's pretty shitty. You know, there's a lot of poverty. You know, there's people that go out and rape and murder. And they tend to come from poverty. Um, there's people that become terrorists and blow up buildings. And they tend to come from poverty or be disenfranchised in some way. Um, not cool. Not cool. Not justifying any of that activity. But if you really want to do something, government, don't go away. Don't get out of our lives. But re... Um... Restructure, you know, your priorities and whatnot. Restructure your damn priorities. And, uh... You know, 
how much money does the government really need? See, see they totally have basic income. Okay. Oh, yeah, I was, I was saying paying those social services people there, you know, $30,000 a year, $40,000 a year to sit on a little desk and, you know, have their little computer. Yeah, you can get EBT uh, starting in two weeks. Oh, gee, thanks, you know. Uh, uh, you, you you got a job now? Um, yeah, we're uh, you're making um what? What are you making now? You're making um a thousand two hundred dollars a month. Um, yeah, we're gonna cut your food stamps down to thirty dollars a month now. Uh, aren't we helping you with that thirty dollars a month? Um, what your rent's eight hundred dollars? Yeah, well, we're still gonna only give you thirty dollars in EBT. You know. Damn freeloaders, you know, always wanting something for nothing. Well, yeah, you know, they're paying you seven fifty an hour, and and then you're having to get food stamps. Uh, yeah, pretty much. You know, they could pay me uh fifteen bucks an hour. Uh, there's another thing. One minimum wage. I honestly think uh, there should be two different minimum wages. One for a uh, corporation. You know, like. Oh, you, you're, you're this, you know, your CEO is making all this fucking money, you know, you got all this fucking money. You can pay your employees a living wage. Um, the small business guy, I do believe, you know, you hire, you know, however many people you can afford to pay. Like, if you're a small, small business starting out, you are going to work a lot yourself, and you might only have one or two employees, you know, you know. And then, you know, also you have family helping you, you know, in your business. But, um, but yeah, the couple employees you have, yeah, you should be able to pay them a, a, a living wage. Um, you know, if, you, you, you know, I mean, if, if you can't afford, you know, you're doing something wrong, your business is just not valuable, you know, if you're not making enough money to pay these people, you know, if it's not worthwhile, I mean, or maybe your employees are lazy and not being efficient, you know, and you're having to hire more people than you need, because I've never been a fan of, uh, you know, uh, they need to hire all these people so people have jobs, like, what, just to be standing around, I mean, like, that's, you know, you go to work just to stand around and get a check, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think people should, you, if, you, if you're going to go to work and, you know, you should actually do your job and, you know, be committed and not be lazy, but you should also be respected and, you know, good job, you know, really appreciate the work today, you know, you put your heart and soul in it, you know, that was awesome, you know, I'm going to give you Saturday off, you know, next week, you know, I don't know, you know, I'm going to give you a raise, you know, um, more than just 50 cents, you know. Um, I'm gonna really just simple compliments every day, not so much just raises, you know, but but mainly just you know not being a dick and like talking down to people like they're less than human. Um, but yeah, but no, I I do actually still think even though I'm like yeah, you know, you should pay people this because if your business isn't making enough, then you suck and you know free market, you know. So, you know, your business fails, another business starts up, and maybe that one does good, your business sucks, this guy's business is good, you know, this guy's able to afford to pay his people the right price, you're not, <laughs> your business sucks, you failed, you know, get a real job, bum, um, <laughs> I like that, get a real job, bum, but, uh, but no, I do. I do think it should be two different rates. Um, like I really think Walmart and crap like that. You know, really, this day and age, the cost of living and everything. I really think they should pay people fifteen bucks an hour. You know, there are no you know factory jobs. You know, there's not much opportunity. There's a lot of people, not much jobs. You can pay people 15 bucks an hour, but I honestly think um, for the small business guy with his coffee shop, you know. I really think minimum wage should only be like ten dollars, you know. See, I'm not a communist, you know. I'm not that bad, you know. And also another pet peeve is socialism, and communism, two different things. And another pet peeve: Obama is a complete scumbag, horrible person. And mm, I'm not gonna say anything else about that. But by the way, it wasn't a racist remark. It's just. You know, I don't want to say anything. Get my point. Um, 
I hate that you still have to say that, by the way, it wasn't a racist remark. You know, you still, there's still racism in society, and there's still that automatic, you know, guilty, you know, white skin. Um, but, uh, yeah, horrible person, but by the way, he's not a socialist, you know. I kind of wish he was, you know, because if he's the right kind of socialist, you know, the kind of socialist that's, like, actually helping people, but not the kind of socialist that wants complete government control and is going to lock you up for pot, you know, like a... The you know a socialist that's I don't know like a libertarian socialist would be nice you know, um, but uh, you know uh, yeah you could definitely be a basic income there could definitely be more money um, the basic income could be higher and like I say there's still incentive to work because you know you work you make more money you know or you're relaxed you come up with a cool idea you start a business you make more money. You know, you become a millionaire, and that's great. I got no problem with rich people, you know, as long as you earn it. And as long as there aren't poor people, you know, being shit on and at the expense of, you know, your 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 power and your money, you know. Um, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with being rich at all. Um... But yeah, with the way machines are going, I mean, I mean, there's gonna be less and less jobs out there, and less and less lower class jobs. So you're gonna have a shitload of poor people that aren't lazy bums. They're just poor because there's nothing out there for them, and there's gonna be more and more violence, more and more robberies, and you know, I uh, hope. Uh, I hope that that doesn't happen. Um, but if that does happen, I really hope they go after the right people, the banksters and stuff, you know. I hope they, you know, beat the shit out of them in a corner and fucking take their money, you know, and bash in their Mercedes. You know, that would be nice. I mean, please don't, you know, just rob random, you know, middle class people. That's That's not very nice. Please don't kill children, you know, um, no matter how bad it gets. I hope things don't get that chaotic, chaotic, um, if it does get bad, which I don't know, um, I don't see the change. I mean, I, I see, like, maybe some of us are waking up and maybe we can start small, vote a little smarter, you know, it locally and you know eventually things might change on a national level as well and just uh you know more democracy i like with the states like colorado with the the uh the actual people voting on the ballot initiative and them going through that process and respecting the people's voice and now you know they got medical marijuana and 20 states plus the district of columbia a lot of places are getting more lenient with decriminalizing to a degree and out of those 20 states plus the district of columbia two of them states are colorado and washington where it's now recreational marijuana is legal so that's pretty amazing um, oh yeah, what was my point? Oh, with the land value. Oh yeah, if you're going to go the land value out and it actually does wind up to be accurate that it brings in all this revenue, the, more, the less money, the, the point, the less money the government spends, the more money the people get back, like if you're going to have the basic income. So, you have this and... and uh, Okay, you have the social, this is about the social programs and stuff that don't really help that many people, and it's pretty much just like, here's a few peanuts, you know, you go into the street and be a homeless bum, and when you're sitting around drinking a beer, we're gonna toss you in the clink clink. You know, but this homeless person, we're going to give him a little house and a little bit of money for food and a little bit of money for whatever, you know, and, you know, this, you're not really going to be able to actually get off your feet and be independent, but you'll be better off than this lazy bum, you know. Um, he's drinking a beer, you know. He's in prison now. He freaked out and punched a cop, you know. So, you're, you know, upper class, poor, you know, welfare person. Um, 
and I sit here and do my little social service job and <laughs> I mentioned you know when then there's children involved there's a we go to your house there's marijuana we take your kid put them in foster care and that hellish system and uh, oh then your kid dies you know and eh, it wasn't our bad you know we did background checks. I don't care if the person people can we complain. Oh, they didn't do background checks. I don't care if the person came up spotless clean on a background check. You know, you're gonna give someone a kid. It's not about. It's not always gonna show up on a background check. Okay, girls out there that judge guys on background check. You know, the whole guns background check. Okay, there's some things that aren't gonna show up on a background check, and that's. Because that's only in the head, and you're just a sick individual with a horrible, fucked up heart. No criminal record, but you're just sick and horrible, and you need to die. Um, then there's the people that do have a criminal record, and they're even if they have a bad criminal record, even if they have felonies, violent felonies, even you know, depending on the actual felonies and the whole details of the case and all the different complex circumstances um, some of these people out there are actually really nice um, good people best people you'd have in your life to watch your back and you know you, you'd leave your kids with them I mean there are, there are like decent people so the, the the criminal record thing is I do think they should do criminal record checks though on foster parents definitely and yeah, it, it, you're kind of allowed to judge people on their criminal record when it comes to children. Like, I'm sorry, you know, when it comes to children, it's a big deal. But don't let it be the end-all, be-all, be you know, because there's, you know, I'm not saying you have to have a spotless record. You can't have anything to be a foster parent. I mean, what, you got caught with some pot? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think you should be eliminated. But my main thing is not so much that as much as watch out for the people that do have a clean record because uh, they may be really sick people like really be careful about who you're gonna send people's kids to and first off uh, be careful about who, who you're taking kids from like exactly do they need their kids taken away why are you taking their kids away because uh, some people might be really good parents you take their kids away and that's just mean you know and to the child and, and to the parent and it's just horrible you know and especially when it ends in a tragedy um, I think we might know what we're talking about that two-year-old girl Alexandra Hill or whatever was that her name uh, dude smoked pot I think the mom might have smoked pot at night when she was sleeping um, Apparently it was a big deal. I think the mom had seizures or something. Uh, yeah, they took the kid, put her in foster care with some crazy, you know, psycho-looking woman, and she threw the kid on the ground. Two-year-old girl, cute little girl, fucking dead. You know. Um, yeah, pretty bad. I don't want to, you know, take something bad and you know use it for my cause. You know, I mean it's actually pretty fucking bad and it should really piss people off um you know I didn't know these people I mean I'm not you know traumatized in the sense of like you know when my friend killed himself but it, it, it's pretty fucked up and pisses me off and I don't really like think about it um yeah um well, what the hell oh yeah my, I'm still bitching about social service people the money you spend on this system you know that doesn't really benefit you know and it but I'm not saying you should get rid of it because I guess it helps a little bit you know so you know if anything I'd say give it more but I'm saying I'm not so much for putting more money into this fucked up system as much as giving people money directly would be more my ideal and the less money the government spends the more money you know is refunded to the citizens and the citizens dividend so you get rid of this police state you know you actually teach cops to be cops for what cops are supposed to be, you know, protect and serve the public, you know, really genuine people that care and aren't on a power trip, you know, and X amount of cops don't need an army, you know, there's enough cops 
that can handle situations. Uh, teach people that, you know, yeah, we're here to protect you as cops, but honestly, when, you know, danger's seconds away, we're minutes away. So, yeah, learn to, learn to defend yourself, you know, and be responsible. Lock your shit up. If you have kids, don't leave guns laying around. That shit's not cool, you know, not cool at all. Be a responsible gun owner. Don't have this thing because, you know, the liberals are going to sensationalize it and it's all going to be focused on gun control, gun control, gun control, gun control, gun control. Guns kill people. Guns kill people. We're not trying to get take your guns if you're good the hunt. No, no, no. We just, we just want, you know, background checks. So a little stoner dude can't have pot, you know, uh, we, we just want these assault rifles. No one needs these assault rifles. I mean, I don't honestly think it's for protection, but if you're a fucking dude and you like fucking firing a goddamn AK-47 at a goddamn firing range, blowing up some bottles and shit, hell yeah, you know, he's just a dumb redneck. I don't like them dumb rednecks. I'm a Harvard boy. I don't like them dumb rednecks, you know. I fucking think they're cool because they got them blow shit up. You know, with that little fucking AK-47. Think they're fucking hot shit. You know, I bet they got a small penis, you know. I got a big penis because I don't have a gun. I'm awesome. I don't need a gun. I got law. L-E-O. Leo. I call them. I, mean, I got a big dick. You know, yeah, you, mister, with a gun, you know, you got a small dick, you know. No, man, I, I mean, I don't have a gun, but if, I mean, I would like some guns. I would like a massive gun collection, okay. I really would like, I mean, I would like a lot of property out in the country, massive gun collection. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even mind some dynamite dynamite you know honestly if I had a lot of money you know and all this property and access to all this stuff I wouldn't even mind like I mean taking a, some junk vehicle and 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 boom watching it blow up you know that would be awesome fabulous okay there's I have testosterone yeah uh, it kind of you know it's responsible for all of human Horrors. Testosterone makes you rape, murder, kill. It's 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 horrible. Testosterone. All men should be castrated. It's terrible. Testosterone's so bad for you. No, it's just fucking cool. It's how to manage it. Let people release their testosterone in a non-violent, you know, safe, humane, humanistic way. You know, damn. There's nothing wrong with being a dude. You know. I think guns are cool. Um, I, I really do. And I, so you you get this, you get rid of the police state. You get rid of this big military. Ooh, you know, world police. You know, uh, last war that we should have been in was World War Two. You know, uh, after that, it's all crap. You know, and. He, even that's last resort, but honestly, when there's a country, you know, killing all these people, um, I really don't see how you, you know, and on top of this one little country killing all these people, he's trying to take over the world and, you know, kill pretty much everyone that he doesn't approve of. I think it's about time you, you know, put that bitch ass Hitler in his place, you know, yeah, um, not cool, you know, it's not about, we're America, I mean, it's about, you know, we're human beings, and as one, yeah, we, we have sovereign nations, but I'm not globalist, but I do think we are one, and we should have each other's interests at, you know, at heart, um, you know, while still, you know, trying. I'm not, a com I'm not like a complete isolationist, is what I'm saying. Um, but I'm not a big globalist. I'm just not big into that uh, massive power and corruption. And I I'm more about like minimal interference, like last resort, like what needs to be done for ourselves, priority, our country, you know, like, and then. If we can give assistance and it can be used properly, you know, how can we help third world nations, you know, and helping them with weapons uh, is not cool, you know. Uh, blowing them up with drones is not cool, like uh, having warlords get a hold of the money is not cool, like how can we actually, you know, 
go over there and make sure, you know, the little children, like, have food, like, how do we do that? You know, that, that would be nice. First of all, you know, like, take care of your own, you know, naturally. Um, but yeah, um, you know, you get rid of the police state, the prison industrial complex, fucking, who needs all these fighter jets and bombs and stuff, I mean, yeah, we need, we need a strong military technically, you know, I mean, we need to be able to handle shit when shit comes up, but stuff can be saved money immensely, shrunken down a lot of things can be, just so much money to be saved, and then, you know, um, you don't have to pay all these social services workers, and, you know, why are they getting a check, you know, I mean, when you could just you know, and, and you don't have to tax all this shit, you know, you can, uh, you know, you should have minimum wage, you know, that should pretty much, and, and, and safety laws, you know, um, environmental stuff, you know, there should be a certain set amount of reg regulations on, you know, business, you know, just as part of the community, the commons, you know, you know, one people, one land, you know, uh, you know, respecting, you know, decency, you know, um, but not too much nitpicking, fucking micromanaging crap, you know, pretty much let the businesses do them, you know, um, and give them incentive, you know, because they're paying this money on this land, and they have incentive to use their land most efficiently, so, and you're not taking out all this money and their taxes that, you know, so the more efficient they are, you're not taking the money, you know, they get to keep it, you know, they, they don't have to hide it and have offshore accounts, they don't have to go to some third world country and pay people slave labor, you know, um, in fact, it should be not against the law to, to go overseas, but it should be so expensive to go overseas that it's cheaper to pay American workers um, and and they can um, you know maximize efficiency hire more people but obviously they have to pay them a living wage but they're able to keep you know all their profits so it's really not that big of a deal you know I mean you know, hire workers, and, you know, there's nothing wrong, you know, with it, and it, it, it'd be pretty nice, you know, um, and, uh, so, you know, there's that money, you know, saved, you know, more, more jobs, more businesses, more people getting hired, like I said, a lot of stuff's automated, you know, gonna be automated, you know, so a lot of the machines are gonna be stealing our jobs, you know, we talk about the Mexicans right now, but, dude, the machines are coming, you know, so, if we're so profitable, you know, we're able to be so prosperous and make all this money, what's the harm, and, you know, why do people have to work, and why do people have to work in such traditional forms, you know, why, why is it like mandatory, like why is it like get up in the morning and go to this place and stand around, or, or, or no, don't stand around, you gotta act like you're working, so just keep rubbing this spot and act like you're cleaning something that's dirty even though it's not dirty, you know, it's good work ethic, it's good for you, like but it, nothing needs to be done, like, it's not efficient at all, like, why do I have to pretend I'm cleaning, we can't pay you for standing around, like, what, we can't pay you to be at your house and, you know, uh, raise your kids, so nah, you can't get a check, you know, you lazy bum, you know, like, no, I mean, wh wh why is it so important? Like, I'm not sure. Like, as long as everything's running smoothly, you know, and, you know, we're all getting along, you know, I mean, and you're not going in debt because you're not blowing all this money on bullshit, you know, you got small government and free markets, and you have this one freaking tax, land tax, one fucking tax, 
and you know you spend a little bit on basic necessities you know like a basic military or, or a strong military I should say but you know nothing too crazy and you know uh, cops you know that actually do their job you know but they don't have quotas you know they actually are out there you know protecting us you know um, you know roads whatever you know it's all pretty nice um and uh honestly you don't even have to build roads really so much but it is nice there's that whole private you know if it's necessary but but I think it's good to build roads you know and I think it is I'm not gonna get into that fucking crazy libertarian debate on whether we need to build roads or not point being is small government you're not spending that much money um you know, you got a small government and you happen to um, get X amount of money but you don't spend that much so it gets divided, you know, and supposedly uh, it goes to everyone this basic income but I don't know, I don't really see why rich people, I mean, once you're already rich, like, shouldn't you lose the basic income unless you wind up needing it later on for some reason, you know, like, shouldn't you lose the basic income, like, I mean, I hear apparently there's all this money that everyone would get the same basic income, but I'm more like in line with Martin Luther King. Like, I don't believe he was saying basic income for all. Like, he was more like, you know, we spend all this money on Nam. X, the same amount would cover basic income for like all the poor people. Like, uh, so, but I mean, I would go more than just the poor people. I would say the poor and the middle class, the actual middle class, not like five hundred thousand dollars a year. I don't really think that's middle class. Um, certainly not a million dollars a year. That's definitely not middle class. But people try to pose as middle class, you know. I mean, like, you know, you're making like, I don't know. Let's just say like. 300 grand or less, you know, I don't know, it's arbitrary numbers, I've never been a fan of them, but, you know, I guess if we're going to decide this at the federal level, or are we going to decide this at the state level, um, I'm not sure how the, uh, land value tax works 100%, um, so I don't like to talk about it, this is just ideas, but, um, but yeah, if you're making, like, X amount of money, you know, I think most people should get it, you know, um, I don't, I don't think it hurts, you know, even if you are rich and don't need it, I don't think that extra, you know, 25 grand a year, I don't, I don't think that's bad that you got an extra 25 grand a year, I mean, we could all use extra money, I guess, you know, but I was more so, like, say, in the 25 grand, like, you know, it's a minimum income, like, it should be to the people that have no income or their income so low. Like, you know, you got 25 grand a year, but then you wind up getting a job and you make another 25 grand a year. Now you're making 50 grand a year. Now that you're making that 25 grand a year from a job, do you lose your basic income? No. That would be in, that would incentivize people to sit at home and not get a job because they'd be like, oh, well, I can sit at home and get twenty five grand, or I can go do a job and get twenty five grand. What are you gonna do? Unless the job's really cool and you're passionate about it, you're gonna sit at home and there's not gonna be jobs, you know. But if it's extra money and you still get to keep the basic income, then there's incentive to go out and take the shitty job. This is a shitty job, you know, this is McDonald's, I hate this shit, but I can sit at home and take, make 25 grand or I can go to work and now I'm making 50 grand. And then I don't have to do this shitty job that long because maybe I can save up and maybe I can do investment, maybe I can come up with a business idea, start my own business in like 10 years and I can now be a job creator and hire people, you know. Um... I mean, you know, people shouldn't be poor and people shouldn't be put in cages for no good reason and people shouldn't be drawn for no good reason and until the government gets its shit straight, I'm going to keep asking for money.
I mean, I always ask for money from the government until I get my shit straight. But, um, I gotta say, like, I'd rather have the ANCAPs in charge because, um, hell, at least that's just people, you know, being dicks, not like a whole system, you know, set up with, you know, the government and their unfair advantages that they have. You know, that's not cool. You know, raping and pillaging the private citizen. You know, because we said that we don't approve of you, or we make something up about you, or there's some sort of law that we created, you know, that isn't like, you know, don't kill and rape, you know, it's like, mm, this plant, you know, this, this, this harmless fucking plant that God put on this planet for you to use is unacceptable. And we like locking people up and, uh, you know, our buddies in the private prison industry get rich off your stupid stoner ass. Fuck that shit, you know? Give me a fucking libertarian society. Give me a fucking Gary Johnson libertarian. The kind of libertarian I'm not even a huge fan of. I mean, I was like Gary Johnson for a while, but like, honestly, I don't think he really has his shit together about solving poverty. You know, I think he's kind of one of them, eh, you know, libertarians. I don't really quite agree with them, but I would take Gary Johnson any other day over fucking Obama. I would take Ron Paul, even, and I, I like Gary Johnson more than Ron Paul, but I would take Ron Paul over Obama, or Mitt Romney, or any one of these douchebags, you know? Like, they're pretty much all douchebags, just about. I do like Bernie Sanders, um, and I, I might, I think Elizabeth Warren might actually be one of the good fellas out there, she might be good, you know, um, you know, there's some people, uh, fuck Hillary, I'm not voting for Hillary in 2016, by the way, and I hope the Democrats don't elect Hillary, that's bullshit, fuck Hillary, fuck her, she's a horrible person, fuck Hillary, fucking eat shit and die, Hillary, ooh, I don't care about Benghazi, I don't care about that, I don't think that's a, I think that's a non-issue, Benghazi, you know, I, I think it's really a lot of hoopaloo about nothing. You know, they made a big fucking scandal out of it. And there's legitimate scandals out there, like, you know, the um, Fast and Furious. There's leg there's enough legitimate scandals with the Obama administration. We don't have to make up little fake scandals like Benghazi. It's a fucking joke. You know, I mean, don't make yourself look stupid. You know, you little partisan people. You know, like, partisan people suck. You know, I like independence. You know, um, I think Jesse Ventura would be a nice, uh, would be a nice president. You know, I mean, say what you will, and he might have his flaws, but um, who knows? You know, people think they know everything, but they don't. So.